Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared, and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. Adjutant Online. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chao Sara colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters? They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn! Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw, too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress Beacon activated at 12.20. Your tenure as Colonial Magistrate is suspended, pending an official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons of Korhal. 
Receiving incoming transmission. Hey man, Arcturus's boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sara is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet, and so are we. However, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I want you to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapon schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. Hey man, Headquarters has begun analysis of the disks. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those disks is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there, under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antiguan people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are yours to deal with. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan Revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Tarsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded, but wait, here's something. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. We've crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is a priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? <sighs> Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arcturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Arcturus Mengsk is calling a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Confederate strike force. But first, we have a grave matter to discuss. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So the Zerg are here for you, darling? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. 
These things reach across worlds. The Confederacy used these psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colony, Marsara Commander, was one such location. What are you saying? I'm saying the Zerg are a secret weapon developed by the Confederacy. I'm saying you were all subjects of a Confederate weapons test. Just as they destroyed Korhal with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the Zerg. It's time the Confederacy paid for its crimes. And I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsonis itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonis in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. But they're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. <laughs> right. I've picked up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minx has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Core Hall fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis, receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown. And if we hope uh, to reach... To hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get- The fleet is way, prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis' primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. A 
Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Behold that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my celebrates, that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis, and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Go now, and keep safe my prize. I am well pleased, young Cerebrate. And so long as my prize remains intact, I shall remain pleased. Thus its life and yours shall be made as one. As it prospers, so shall you, for you are part of the Swarm. If ever your flesh should fail, that flesh shall be made anew. That is my covenant with all Cerebrates. Now you have grown strong enough to bear the rigors of warp travel with the Swarm. Thus we shall make our exit from this blasted world and secure the Christmas within the Hive Cluster upon the planet Char. Remnants of the Protoss fleet still linger within this planet's orbit. They will attempt to block our exodus at every turn. My brood shall aid you, Cerebrid, should you require assistance. Behold the power of that which is yet unborn, for the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow of the sleeper's true power. The psionic emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies to us. Even now, we are aware of their plans. Quadrants close formation. Scan for hostiles. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip-ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run from the Terran base. Engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the Chrysalis at all costs. is occupied with the forces of the Dominion, the emanations of the Chrysalis have called even more of our enemies to Char. These two shall be eradicated by your hand, Cerebrate, for you grow more cunning with each passing battle. Indeed, you are a testament to my will and the fury of the Swarm. Yet first must you stay your wrath and watch over the Christmas a while longer, for the very hour of the Sleeper's rebirth is at hand, and soon my greatest creation shall be loosed. Cerebrit, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. 
Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zaz. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any Cerebrate. Truly, no Zerg can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. By your will, Overmind. Cerebrate, you must see that she comes to no harm. Do you feel that, Cerebrate? The Protoss are here, on Char. They have been for some time, hiding. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Insufferable Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Kerrigan. Zas is dead. Oh? It is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack. An attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zas's brood has run amok, and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Cerebrate, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. Silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss have dared strike down that which was immortal. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own, and it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Zeratul murdered Zaz, his mind touched with mine, and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayr, the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Ayr directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Cerebrate, you shall set a trap for our foes. Kerrigan will lead them to you. My children, the hour of our victory is at hand. For upon this world of Ayr shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... perfect. Yet before...
Before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kedaran Crystals, for within them lies power undreamed of by the Kotas. Go now, my Cerebrit. Secure the Crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the Swarm. Cerebrit. The Protoss can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the Swarm. But now you must assault one final sight before our conquest is assured. Behold, there is a temple not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have borne witness to the passing of countless millennia, the temple which you must assault is older by far. For it was constructed by my creators, the Zelnaga, and it marks the site where the Zelnaga first set foot upon Ire. The temple must be cleared, and the Kedaran crystal set in its place. Only then shall the way be made ready, for it is upon that ground alone that I may be manifest. Antara Ardun, Executor. I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and counsel you. The former Executor, Tassadar, was commanded to halt the Zerg progress in the Terran Sector by burning the infested human worlds. Unfortunately, he disregarded his orders and attempted to destroy the Zerg while sparing the Terrans from the flame. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. The Conclave has dictated that our first priority is to strengthen our defenses. You must reinforce our outpost in Antioch and make certain that the province does not fall to the Zerg. Your old comrade, Praetor Phoenix, will meet you there and assist you in this endeavor. Antaro Ardun, Executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar caste. I admit that Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Aldaris. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in their Templar brethren. Tassadar, where have you Be been? Be silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste, and I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy! Enough! Hear me, Executor! For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tassadar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ire at once. My concern is for the safety of Ire, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. Executor, I bring news most dire. The Cerebrate that we thought we had killed has arisen again. The creature's battered form was reincarnated despite the considerable damage we inflicted upon it. Even now, the Cerebrate drives its brood in preparation for their next offensive. It is as I feared. It was folly to believe Tassadar could be trusted. The Conclave will not soon forget his wanton betrayal. Nevertheless, we must stand resolute.
for attacking defenseless Cerebrates is not the way of true Protoss warriors. We shall overcome the entire swarm with the might and the fury that is our heritage. Executor, we shall lead our main strike force to the province of Sion, which has fallen to the Zerg. It's time the Zerg felt the wrath of the Sons of Ayr. Prayer to Phoenix will remain here with a small detachment and guard Antioch from any further assaults. Adun be with you, Executor. Bring swift death to the enemies of Ayr. Executor, I know that you were reluctant to leave Ayr in this dark hour, and that you still grieve for the loss of your comrade, Phoenix. But remember that he lived and died as a Templar. He has reached the Kala's end. There is no greater glory than that. We Judicator are called to look beyond such matters, to ensure the safety and future of our people. It is not the Zerg but the rogue Tassadar, who represents the greatest threat to us now. If he is allowed to spread the Dark Templar's tainted influence to Ayr, all will be lost. We will find him and bring him to judgment. Tassadar claimed that this world was abandoned by the Zerg just prior to the invasion of Ayr. Yet I still sense a lingering darkness here. Be prepared for anything, Executor. If there are still Zerg on this world, then they must surely know of our arrival. Executor, by following Tassadar and attempting to rescue the Dark Templar, you have openly defied the will of the Conclave. Abandon this mad scheme now, and the Conclave may show you mercy. Don't let him control you, Executor. The Judicator have long since steered the actions of the Templar to their own ends. It's time we acted of our own accord. Ah, Tassadar, have you fallen so far? To think that you were our brightest hope, our most beloved son. Now you are everything that we are not. You are lost to us. Not only have you damned yourself, but you have damned those who have followed you. Such is the price for our race's salvation, Judicator. I have been here with the Dark Templar these last few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Zerg, I learned many of their secrets from the prelate, Zeratul. Apparently, the energies which empower the Dark Templar also course through the Overmind and its Cerebrates. The same Cerebrates which you told us to destroy. Your advice was useless, for the creature was reincarnated before our eyes. Unfortunately, yes. Your attack on the Cerebrate failed because the energies that you wield are useless when used directly against the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Only the Dark Templar's power can truly harm the Zerg. That is why we must rescue Zeratul and return him to Ayr. You were warned, Executor. The Conclave will not be pleased. Executor, I sense that Zeratul and his brethren are close by. But I have been unable to make contact with them. I fear they may be in grave danger. We must scour this area immediately and find the Dark Templar, lest they be overcome by the Zerg. Greetings, Executor, and greetings to you, Tassadar. I am overjoyed to see you both return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it Phoenix. seems... It can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? <laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a Dragoon. Old friend, would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! 
There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. There is much you both need to know. You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar of Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. They hunt you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you till the end. In Taroadun, Noble Phoenix. Executor, it seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar from our own brethren. Although it pains me greatly, not even the Conclave shall stand in our way. Entaro Adun, Executor. All seems lost now, but still we must fight on. We must find Tassadar and secure his release from the Judicator before they can execute him for treason. Without him, I fear there is no way to defeat the Zerg and their Overmind. Zeratul and his Dark Templar have vanished, leaving us to fend for ourselves. I wonder if Tassadar was mistaken to have put his trust in them. We are receiving a transmission from Captain Raynor's command ship. This is Raynor. I'd like to help if I can. Tassadar laid it on the line for me and my crew on Char. I'd like to repay the debt. Besides, I'm a long way from home, surrounded by hostile aliens. I've got to do something. Then you shall, bold human. You shall. In Taro Adun, Executor. My gratitude to you for having secured my release knows no bounds. By all the gods, we may win yet. The time has come to let loose the fury of the Dark Templar. Zeratul, perhaps the time has come to tell our friends of the foe we face. Indeed. When I slew the Cerebrit Onchar, I touched briefly with the essence of the Overmind. In that instant, my mind was filled with its thoughts. And I tell you now, our worst fears have come true. The Zerg were indeed created by the ancient Zelnaga, the same beings that empowered us in our infancy. But the Overmind grew beyond their constraints, and has at last come to finish the experiments they began so long ago. So you see, my friends, we fight not only to save Ayr, but all creation. If we fall to the Zerg, then the Overmind will run rampant throughout the stars, consuming all sentience, all life. It is up to us to put an end to this madness, once and for all. Our forces shall engage the primary Zerg Hive Clusters in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once their numbers have thinned out, Zeratul and his companions can infiltrate the Clusters and assassinate the Cerebrates. Adun willing, the Cerebrates' deaths will distract the Overmind long enough for us to assault it directly. Executor, our plan worked perfectly. The Zerg defenses are broken, and the way to the Overmind is laid bare. The time for our stand has come. Indeed. My friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming conflict. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now... It has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Ire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. Zerg have taken everything from me. 
my home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back, but I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For Ayr. Greetings, Executor. Though we all grieve for the loss of mighty Tassadar, we must find the resolve to carry on. He sacrificed himself to destroy the Overmind, but many Zergs still rage across our ruined homeworld. Without the Conclave to lead us, or the protection of our great fleets, it seems we must fend for ourselves. Aldaris is correct, Executor. As we have both seen, the Zerg will not halt their rampage until every last one of us is dead. I suggest that we retreat to our last functional warp gate, and travel to where the Zerg cannot follow us. With all due respect, Zeratul, the Protoss do not run from their enemies. Ire is our homeworld. It is here that we shall make our stand. Just as your Conclave did. They are dead now, Eldaris. Dead because they allowed their pride to blind their reason. Only if we learn from their mistakes can we live to avenge them. Now, Executor, I know of a place where we can find solace. It is Shakuras, the secret homeworld of my people, the Dark Templar. Your people? We would be seen as tyrants to them. Why would they shelter us? Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Not all beings are as unforgiving as your lamented conclave, Eldarus. You are right, of course. Executor, Zeratul shall find us passage to the warp gate. After the gate has been secured, Phoenix and the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakuras. Executor, I am Artanis. Though I have only recently been appointed Praetor, you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. Hey boys, mind if we tag along? I figure you're heading anywhere has got to be better than staying here with the Zerg. Commander Reno, as ever, your assistance is appreciated. We would be honored if you joined us. And Taro Tassadar, Executor. The survivors from Ire have made it safely through the gate. Yet, amidst the chaos of our retreat, we lost contact with Phoenix and Raynor. I fear that they may have been overrun by the Zerg. Fear not, Artanis. Phoenix is as stalwart a warrior as I have ever known. And the Terran Raynor has proven himself to be highly resourceful in the past. I for one believe that they made it here safely, but while we wait for word from them, we must reconnoiter the surrounding area and find a suitable location for a more permanent settlement. Once we're situated, we can begin to search for the Dark Templar. I am Rashagal, Matriarch of the Dark Templar and I welcome you and your companions to our world. Zeratul has informed me of the fall of Ayr, and I am deeply grieved. I am one of the few Dark Templar old enough to remember our ancestral home with clarity. Yet no matter how tragic the circumstances, it is clear that fortune has reunited our people. We Dark Templar will never forget our banishment from Ayr nor the Conclave's sins against us. But you and your companions are no longer of the Conclave. The example set by your fallen hero, Tassadar, has shown you that when the light and dark sides of our energies are united, our power is undeniable. But Matriarch, the Zerg who have followed us here are unlike any enemy the Protoss have ever known. You speak the truth, Judicator. 
And yet, there lies a dormant power here that can help us to scour the Zerg from Shakuris forever. Long ago, we Dark Templar were a nomadic people. But when we found a remarkable monument upon this world, we decided to remain here to study it. We discovered that the enormous structure is actually an ancient Zelnaga temple, dedicated to the race that sired us all. The temple is situated above a nexus of powerful cosmic energies. If we were to access those energies... Then we should strike now while the Zerg still muster their forces. Alas, we cannot. In order to properly channel the energies of the temple, we will need the twin crystals, Urash and Talus, that legends say were separated many ages ago. The Urash is laced with pure Templar energies, while the Kallus is comprised of dark Templar energy. Only by using these two crystals in unison can we hope to channel the potent energies of the Temple. Then it is clear that we must retrieve these crystals, wherever they may be. Agreed. But first, we must deal with the Zerg and their two Cerebrates who have already taken up station around the Temple itself. To arms, my children. Scour the temple grounds of this foul infestation. Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new Overmind growing on Char. What? Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have to say? Because, Zeratul, I'm no longer the mindless murderess whom you fought on Char. The Overmind is dead. Whatever warped control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's more at she stake here She lies. Than... She is infested to the core. I, for one, will not listen to any of Silence, this. Silence, Judicator. Continue, Kerrigan. Apparently, many of the renegade Cerebrates, commanded by Dagoth, have merged into a new Overmind. Fortunately, the creature is still in its infant stages. It can't control the swarm yet. But Dagoth and the others still have control over most of the broods. The two Cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagoth's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, It'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is to save this world, not assault the new Overmind. We must find the crystals Urash and Kallus before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagoth and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and misgivings to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your endeavors. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis and let nothing stop you from recovering it. We will do what you ask, Matriarch. But you cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moonrise. Executor, our sensors have just identified a large group of Terran vessels. However, their configuration profile is unlike any Terran group yet encountered. We are receiving a transmission from the fleet's command ship, identifying itself as the Alexander. Protoss Commander, I am Admiral Alexei Stukov of the United Earth Directorate. We are here to take control of the Terran Dominion and all of its outlying colonies. You are in direct violation of Terran space and have openly attacked Terran troops. Lower your shields and power down your weapon systems. The UED will be taking custody of your ships and whatever spoils you have garnered from this planet. 
United Earth Directorate. Raynar spoke of the distant Terran homeworld called Earth. These humans have come a long way to make war on us. Have faith, Zeratul. You almost sound as if you fear these humans. What are they to such as we? Was it not we who defeated the dreaded Overmind? Yes, I tell us, we did vanquish the Overmind. But we did so with the help of humans. Do not be so quick to underestimate them. Of course. Executor, I shall test the metal of these humans by scouting ahead of your ships and finding a way through this blockade. In Toro Tassadar! Executor, the Urash is secured and the UED has given up the chase. We are currently holding perimeter orbit over the planet Char. Zeratul, have you locked onto the location of the Callus? Yes. I remember sensing his power the last time I was on this world. However, our sensors indicate a massive, fluctuating energy signature at its location. I am, however, unable to identify the signature's source. That should be obvious, gentlemen. The source is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there will be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky, but if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. You give me too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. Look, boys, either of these plans will work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Adun be with you. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Ayr have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? He and his ilk believed that it was wrong to have abandoned Ayr and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderis and his loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar, and Custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There is something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now, we have a friend to kill. May Adun forgive us. This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan. And we played right into her hands. Yes, we did, Artanis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. 
Using the temple's energies against the renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense, as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuris be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued your wisdom and strength. Yet, lately, in your mind, I have sensed something that clouds your true spirit. Though Kerrigan has gone, I wonder if her treachery still remains. Be at ease, Zeratul. I am still the same Rashagal you have always known. These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself, while Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children. And know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. Adjutant Online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over, and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion Space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the Med Officer can provide you with additional cryostim supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmed. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, Defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral Dugal. You were all briefed before we left Earth. So you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. De Gaulle out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dugan. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personable. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Boralus. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian Sheepyards. 
These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in dry dock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, uh, the turncoat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the Captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Captain, the Dominion shipyards have been destroyed, and it seems that General Duke has withdrawn his forces from this quadrant. We have impressed most of the remaining Dilerian defense forces into the fleet and stand ready to move to the next phase of our invasion. We've just received word from our research team that they've uncovered some kind of hidden weapons relay upon the planet Tarsonas. They report that it's called a Psy Disruptor and that its purpose is somehow connected with the Zerg. Admiral, during the Zerg invasion of these colonies, the Confederacy had manufactured a number of portable machines called Psy Emitters, which had the uncanny ability to lure Zerg to their signals. It was rumored that they had created a specialized emitter that could disrupt the Zerg's communications, but Emperor Mengsk was never able to find it. It appears that this Psy Disruptor is the machine he was looking for. I must humbly suggest to you, Admiral, that the Disruptor be destroyed as quickly as possible. If it should fall into the hands of the Dominion, we could face some very serious problems. Uh, a prudent call, Lieutenant. I am inclined to agree. But Admiral, this device could ensure our victory over the Zerg. It is foolhardy to discard such an advantage. Surely, Vice Admiral, you don't doubt the tenacity of your own fleet. Your Directorate forces will devastate the Zerg without the need for such a device. Listen here, Lieutenant. I've had just about enough of your- This conversation is over, Alexei. Given the true nature of our mission to enslave the Overmind, we could hardly stand to have Manx control a device of this magnitude. This side disruptor must be destroyed in order to safeguard our mission. Anson, set your course for Tarsonis. Captain. Once again, your leadership has set a fine example to the rest of my officers. Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me that the Psy Disruptor has been accounted for, so we can now proceed with the next phase of our operation. The time has come to begin our primary invasion of the Dominion Throne World of Korhal. Alexei, fill the Captain in on the current situation. As you may know from your research, Captain, Coral was a hotbed of anti-Confederate sentiment for years. The Confederacy hoped to contain Coral's civil unrest by decimating it and its population with a massive nuclear barrage. Though the radiation levels on the planet are at an all-time low, its surface is now nothing more than a smoldering desert. The catch, Admiral is that because this world has already been devastated by nuclear fire, Mengsk has no compunction against using nukes on us. We have detected a large cluster of missile silos on the outskirts of Augustgrad. If those silos were destroyed, 
people believe that Mengsk would lose his core nuclear capabilities. We also face a different obstacle, Captain. Intelligence has informed us that Mengsk employs multiple battle cruisers for his planetary defense. It is possible to nullify these battle cruisers by taking out strategic physics labs. Without these labs, Manx will be unable to power up his ship's weapon systems. Though we know how to compensate for Manx's defenses, we don't have enough time to follow through on them both. Therefore, Captain, you must choose to either counter his nuclear capabilities or his battle cruisers. Once you've taken care of this operation, we can begin to plan our final assault against Augustgrad. Captain, Admiral de Gaulle has ordered a final tactical meeting before the siege of Augustgrad commences. I'll patch you through to his war room. Ah, Captain, we've been expecting you. As you may have guessed, we are coordinating our final attack plans. You should know that even though Manx cannot reinforce his numbers, his standing forces are substantial. Augustgrad is easily the most heavily fortified city in all of Dominion space. And remember that Manx is an accomplished tactician, so you had best be wary of any counterattacks he may attempt. Also, Despite the fact that we have crippled his fleet of battle cruisers, we suspect that Mengsk will unload his nuclear silos whenever the opportunity presents itself. Keep security tight at all of your bases, and watch out for enemy ghosts. That should cover it, Captain. Be careful, and good luck. By the day's end, the Terran Dominion will be nothing more than a bad memory. Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ire. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg broods surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the broods seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Mengsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain? You will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Mengsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. Admiral, the fugitives Minsk and Raynor escaped through the warp gate due to the intervention of the Zerg. But shortly before our forces were overrun, Vice Admiral Stukov took control of a large contingent of troops and came here to the planet Braxis. Why would he abandon the battle on Ayer? Why has he come back to Braxis? I mean no offense, Admiral. But perhaps Stukov's loyalties are not as strong as you once believed. Because you are young and foolish, Lieutenant, I will pardon that insult. Alexei and I have been friends since long before you were born. However, he must be found. If Stukov is here, he will account for his actions. Admiral? Our sensors have detected a fully functional side disruptor on the planet's surface directly below our position. It would appear that the Vice Admiral did not destroy the side disruptor on Tarsonis as was ordered. What? Impossible! I warned you, Admiral. Stukov has betrayed you! 
He's reconstructed the Psy Disruptor in order to sabotage your mission in this sector. I can't believe it. Yet, the evidence is incontrovertible. Alexei, what have you done? Perhaps you've been right all along, Lieutenant. On my authority, enter the Psy Disruptor and deal with the Vice Admiral appropriately. Of course, Admiral. Captain, with the Psy Disruptor's signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling Overmind. Alexei was right. The Disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown, so proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I'd venture a guess that his treachery has only just begun. Be careful and good luck. I am sure that this will be our finest hour. Greetings, Cerebrit. By now you've realized that I've severed your connection with the Overmind and your renegade brethren. Understand, it's nothing personal. I just can't risk you falling under their influence. You're mine now. Serve me unquestioningly, and I'll let you live. My queen, pardon me for interrupting. But the visitors you have been expecting have arrived. Finally. They certainly took their time. Yeah, well none of us were in any real hurry to get here, Sarah. Still suspicious of my motives, Jimmy? Always. <laughs> when I contacted you both on IR, I told you about the new Overmind and about the UED that seeks to control it. Well, the UED has done it. They've tamed the Overmind and now control most of the Zerg broods in this sector. That's why I've asked for your help. You want us to help you defeat the UED so that you alone will rule the Zerg. Wrong, Phoenix. I want to defeat them because if we don't, they'll clamp down on this sector and enslave us all. You know I'm right, Jim. You've studied the history of Earth. You know what the UED's agenda is. Taking control of the Zerg is only the beginning for them. Maybe. I don't know. My queen, again I beg your pardon for this interruption, but we have a very serious problem. Perfect timing. Gentlemen, we'll need to finish this conversation later. Continue, Duran. The Psy Disruptor signal has reached us here on Tarsonis and shattered the unity of your broods. Within the past few hours, your minions have turned on each other and left their hive clusters to run out of control. This is just what I need. Cerebrate, take the few zergs still under my control and do what you can to stem any further damage to the hive clusters. I can't afford to have them destroyed by my own minions. The Psy Disruptor is causing me some very serious problems. Although I've regained control of my forces here, it's taking more and more concentration just to keep them in line. Oh, my heart's breaking for you, Kerrigan. Now exactly why was it that you asked Phoenix and I to bring Minx to you? Are you still suspicious that I'll kill him for abandoning me to the Zerg? I've gotten over it, Jim. We can't afford to let petty hatreds jeopardize our plans for the UED. That's reassuring. Arcturus, 
I presume you found your cold sleep chamber accommodating? What is the meaning of this, Carrigan? Straight to the point, huh? I was hoping to chat. It's been a while. Not long enough. Why have I been brought here? I need your psi emitters, Arcturus. Why? Remember the Confederate Psi Disruptor that you could never find? Well, the UED found it, and it's preventing me from controlling my minions. With the help of your Psi Emitters, I can gather up enough Zerg to destroy the Disruptor and confront the UED. And what are you offering me in return? Ha! Ever the politician. All right, Emperor. If you help me destroy the Disruptor, I'll help you retake Korhal from the UED. Hmm, a tempting offer. What assurances do I have of you fulfilling your end of the bargain? The only thing I can assure you of, Arcturus, is that without my help, you'll be the emperor of your own little 8x8 cell for the rest of your life. <sighs> I see that you're still a persuasive speaker. All right, Kerrigan. I'll lend you some emitters, but this had better be worth it. Now that the Psy Disruptor has been destroyed, and Kerrigan has regained control of her minions, I fear that she will forget our pact and turn on us. I know what you mean, Phoenix. I'd love to believe that she's on the level, but there's a part of me that just knows better. However, I do believe that she's serious about taking out the UED. The only real question left is what happens to us when she wins. If you ask me, she's completely untrustworthy. But so long as she'll help me retake Korhal, I'll work with her. Shut up, Arcturus. If I wanted your damn opinion, I would have beaten it out of you. And in case you forgot, you're the reason she became what she is in the first place. You boys should really learn to play nice with each other. Kerrigan, are your forces ready to assault Korhal as we planned? Nearly. I still need a substantial cache of resources in order to build up my primary hive clusters. I'm wondering if you gentlemen wouldn't mind going on a fuel raid for me. It sounds like you've already got a plan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that we should pay the Kalmorian Combine a little visit. Moria is one of the largest resource nodes in the sector. If you can bypass their defenses and steal enough resources from them, we'll be able to afford a full-scale assault on Korhal. It's risky, but I think we can handle it. Phoenix, are you into this? If it betters our chances, I will lead the assault myself. Great. Let's get moving. Do you think they suspect anything, my queen? Of course. They aren't stupid, Duran. They're siding with the evil they know over the evil they don't. They simply don't yet realize what it will cost them. You have all performed superbly, especially you, Phoenix. My hive clusters are brimming with energy, and my broods are stronger than ever. Then let's waste no time. Every moment we sit here means that the UED's defenses will be that much stronger, and I want nothing to stand between us and the retaking of my planet. You're right, Arcturus. The time to strike the UED is now. But remember that we're up against one of the most heavily defended planets in the sector. Laying siege to Korhal won't be easy. Not only does the UED control a substantial standing army, but may have Zerg reinforcements as well. Raynor, you and Phoenix will strike at the more outlying fortification, while my forces are busy assaulting the main UED base at Augustgrad. We've discussed this plan a hundred times. Commence the damn attack! Ha! <laughs> Very well, Arcturus. Before the next sunrise, Korhal will be yours once again. Cerebrate, Duran, the time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat. Now that the UED's power base is broken on this world, only their forces on Char pose any significant threat to me. It's time to move to the second phase of my plan. And what of your allies here in Korhal, my queen? What would you have done with them? They are of no further use to me. Though they have proven themselves useful, it might be dangerous to allow them to live. Without the services of General Duke, Minsk will be easy to deal with. 
But Raynor and Phoenix are uncannily resourceful. <sighs> they must all be eradicated. Cerebrit, I want both General Dukes and Phoenix's bases destroyed. Leave no one alive. My queen, if I may suggest a strategy. Both the Protoss and Terran forces are resting after our previous victory. If we attack immediately, while most of them are asleep and unaware, we can whittle down their defenses with relative ease. Clever. How long after our initial attack can we expect them to regroup and retaliate? I'd say in six minutes. That only gives us enough time to launch a surprise attack against one base, but it is a sound plan. Cerebrate, feel free to launch your initial attack against either base. Failure is not an option. Slaughter them all in my name. My queen! Our scouts have just discovered a massive wave of Zerg in high orbit. Hundreds of Zerg have landed upon Tarsonis and are even now approaching our location. A number of our outposts are already under attack by the Renegade Swarm. So the UED is testing out their control of their pet Overmind. I had hoped to lay low after we raised Korhal, but it seems the UED is intent on forcing my hand. Shall I rally your forces, my queen? Yes. We've got to defend our remaining outposts, and make sure that the Renegades can't gain a foothold in our immediate vicinity. Once we've secured our perimeter, we'll begin to take the fight to their Hive Clusters. Cerebrit, it's time we return to Shakuras. I have some unfinished business with the Dark Templar Matriarch, Rashagal. I need to steal her from her tribe before we can finally assault the Overmind on Char. However, her defenders will not simply allow us to take her away. The Pylon Clusters are generating some sort of electromagnetic field that is preventing our flyers from maneuvering. We won't have any air support at all. Then we'll need some new strategy. Perhaps it would be best if we stage some kind of diversion, my queen, and claim the Matriarch during the confusion. What did you have in mind, Duran? The Protoss outpost of Telematros is built upon a large mesa and is essentially impregnable to ground attacks. However, Telematros is fueled and supported by a number of adjacent pylon clusters. I believe that if we can cause a surge within those pylon clusters, we can cause Telematros power grids to overload. The resulting explosion will be the perfect cover for retrieving the Matriarch. Queen. Simple. Devious. I like it. Make it happen, Duran. Cerebrit, you'll provide cover for Duran as he infiltrates the pylon clusters. Let nothing stand in our way. Time is finally upon us, my minions, to destroy the wretched Overmind and the last of its renegade cerebrates. We can count on the UED providing us with heavy resistance, but not even they can stand in our way. Now that the Matriarch Rashagal is in my custody, I possess the means to attack the Overmind with impunity. But my queen, I thought only the Dark Templar's energies could harm the Overmind and its cerebrates. Even with the numerous broods at your command, any attack we launch against the Renegades will be in vain. Not so, Duran. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting my secret weapon to be arriving very soon. As you say, my queen. But I still don't understand why. We are receiving a transmission from an unidentified Protoss carrier. That's what I love about the Protoss. They're so punctual. Garrigan. This is Zeratul. I demand to know why you've taken our matriarch. Actually, Zeratul, she's not the one I'm truly interested in. I stole her to get to you. You see, I need you and your brethren to kill the Overmind for me. The only way I had of assuring your cooperation was to take away that which you value most. However, I give you my word that once you've killed the Overmind, I'll allow her to return to you. As if your word held any value. Zeritul, my faithful servant. 
You must aid Kerrigan in this endeavor. The Overmind is our common enemy. It must be destroyed to ensure that our people will survive. You ask me to aid this vile creature? I do not ask this for myself. Nor do I ask it on Kerrigan's behalf. I ask you to do this for our people, Zeratu. Obey me as you always have. Trust in my judgment. Very well, Matriarch. The Overmind will die this day. My Queen, with the Overmind and its Cerebrates destroyed, all of the Zerg in this sector have reverted to your direct control. The remnants of the UED fleet have fled the planet, but I have no idea how many functional ships they still possess. We have finished relocating your primary hive clusters to this orbital platform. However, we do have a problem. Somehow, Zeratul and his brethren were able to bypass our defenses and steal their matriarch away from us. Damn Zeratul. He is a formidable adversary. Where have they run to, Duran? Our scouts report that they have regrouped with a number of protest survivors on the surface of Char. The Matriarch is being held within a stasis cell, leading me to suspect that the Protoss will attempt to take her home to Shakuras. <laughs> they still believe that she can be saved from my influence. Zeratul will be very disappointed to learn that Rashigal is beyond redemption. How much time before their fleet is ready to debark for Shakuras? They will be capable of dimensional recall within 30 minutes, my queen. That may be all the time we need. Cerebrit, mobilize all of my broods and send them to the surface of Char. I want you to bring both the Matriarch and Zeratul to me alive. Terminate the remaining Protoss with extreme prejudice. My friends, we have suffered a great defeat. Our matriarch is dead. Our fleets have been scattered across the astral winds. And Kerrigan has gained complete control over the Zerg swarms. Yet, as always, we must struggle onward. Our immediate priority is to find Artanis and his warriors. Once we have made contact with him, we can return to Shakuras and plan our next moves. Prelate Zeratul, we are currently tracking Protoss power signatures emanating from an uncharted moon nearby. Our records do not indicate that there has ever been a Protoss settlement in this quadrant. Strange. It could be Artanis or other survivors of our fleet down there. At any rate, it is our duty to investigate the source of the energy signatures. Set your course for the Dark Moon. If our Artanis is there, we shall find him. Cerebrate, our scouts have just identified three separate fleets approaching this platform. With Duran having disappeared, and the bulk of my brood still on the surface of Char, you'll need to hold off the invaders by yourself. You sound worried, Kerrigan. Have I caught you at a bad time? Not at all, Arcturus. How'd you manage to scrape up your new fleet? Been raiding the salvage dumps again? I called in a few favors, made a few concessions. You'd be surprised to see how many special interest groups in this sector want to see you dead. I'm sorry to have to disappoint your new friends, Arcturus. But you really shouldn't have attempted this stunt. It'll take more than your three little fleets to bring me down. Three fleets? Don't play dumb, Mark Taurus. I've already spotted the other two fleets. Kerrigan, this is Artanis. My brethren and I have come to avenge the deaths of Phoenix, the Matriarch, and all of the other Protoss who fell before the Swarm. It is long past time you paid for your crimes against our people. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> the Protoss, too. Care to take a guess as to who the Third Fleet is? No need to guess. It's Dugal and the remainder of the UED fleet. 
That is correct, Carrigan. This is Admiral de Gaulle. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Earth Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, Admiral. You'll have to let me think for a minute. You know, Admiral, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, Admiral. You see, at this point, I'm pretty much the queen bitch of the universe. And not all of your little soldiers or spaceships will stand in my way again. So be it.